Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here as the recording of this. It is Thursday, December 7th, 2023. I felt as if this collar was not in the correct form. I am wearing an appropriate t-shirt as I'm heading over to one of the Disney parks. A non-appropriate sweatshirt for this because Mickey. I'm heading to Magic Kingdom. Haunted Mansion. These are my train of thought. Haunted Mansion has materialized yet another ghoulish creature of the night. Hatbox Ghost, who appeared six, seven-ish years ago out on the West Coast, which I attended the first day of that opening. I was in the first stretch room when Hatbox manifested himself out there half a decade ago. The one here I missed opening day, which was about a week ago, so I'm about, I don't know, a week or so late to that party. But today I'm gonna check it out. Hatbox has arrived in Florida. I'm inviting you to join me. Ooh, Hattie, shall you? Last time I was in Magic Kingdom was one day before the new animatronic, the new Hatbox ghost popped into Mansion. Caught wind of it the day before when I was doing my coast to coast starting here and then going over to California in the same day challenge. And then the next morning when I arrived, well, I guess I would have got it the night before California, but the next day when I woke up, saw the news that Hattie was here. Once this bicycle moves, I'm gonna get moving. It's about 9.19, 9.20. No, 916, 9, 918-ish. Nine, nine I'm off. I just realized I haven't booked a reservation yet, so when I get to the TTC Magic Kingdom parking lot, I've got to book myself a resi. A reservation. The Kingdom of Magic. Magic Kingdom. Central Florida's Magic Kingdom. All right, I am parked. Booked my reservation. Good to go, there was one, thankfully. I'm heading out. We could take the tram, or we could walk. We're walking. There's Micah again. You're behind me? Yeah. I'm wearing an Epcot. I wore an Epcot shirt I yesterday. Have you have we, this? Yeah, we both have that. This might be yours. Could be. No, that's you've worn it way more than me. This thing is uh, seen some seen some things. So is uh, this. You were wearing that Fox. yesterday, almost as a precursor. Yeah. A little teaser. What we're going to do today? Yeah. Hat box has materialized. Yep. Here at Walt Disney World. Are there a thousand ghosts here now? Or there's still 999? Or is like a thousand? thousand? What about the candle man that's here? Isn't yeah. he like the thousand and third ghost? I don't know. There's room for a thousand and seven. Thousand and seven. Or something, right? <laughs> also, they changed it with the new movie. They changed it. Uh, there's room for one more. They don't yeah. even say a thousand anymore. Yep. I'm yeah. I'm very confused. I am. I was... Oh, wait, what's the back of your shirt say? It says a ghost will follow you home. If that and it glows help. in the dark. So does Hatbox. His, uh, his eyes, his eyes are glowing, yeah. and the eyes on the back are glowing in the dark. A ghost will follow <laughs> you home. We parked in Aladdin, no correlation. Oh yeah, getting three icons here in one. We got heavy metal Mickey. Heavy metal Mickey. We got the monorail, and we got a tram. Man, three in one, and a bus, four in one. What is my life right now? <laughs> Should also mention that it is a party night. 6 p.m. the park closes. Not going to the party, but sometimes on party nights, either the Halloween party or the Very Merry Party, the wait times are a little lower during the day because less people are in because they want to go to the party later. So we'll see what happens. All right, gonna start off with a little coffee here from Joffrey's. No one in line. Monorail red will be happening. Heading up the ramp to Monorail Red. All right, so not too long of a line. People getting a photo there with Mickey and Minnie there. All right, we're gonna head in, see some uh, little haunted mansion. All right, that is the resort loop monorail. We just got dropped off the other one. And now heading in. 
Yes, there it is. They've been dying to meet us in horrifying sight and sound of Liberty Square. Look, though, Hattie's not on there. No. Nope. Just the, you know their name. You know the names of the three hitchhiking ghost names. Phineas. Yes. Ezra. Herb. And we got some coffees here. I ended up getting uh, just a regular coffee, no latte. You ended up getting the chai. A chai. A little chai latte or just a chai tea. Chai latte. Chai latte. I love it. Love it. I love it a lot too. I can hear the train go pulling up to the station there. I'm gonna do something I rarely do here in Florida. I'm gonna take a Main Street vehicle. I'm gonna take the Omnibus down Main Street USA. Oh yes, pulling into the station. Yeah. We're going oh, up. we just yes it together. We yeah, just we, did. we had a double yes. We're going up. Well, it's a double decker. Look at this. We're going up. We're going up. We are off on the Omnibus. Get that grand reveal of the castle right there. From the top of the double decker. Double deckering it down Main Street. I can't imagine, I'd have like a panic attack driving, driving through this. I know. <laughs> this guy's just booking it. He's doing good. I would, I would be very stressed. Look at he's like, move it! <laughs> Coming through! Oh, now we're stopped. This really is such a cool experience. I, mean, I like the low down vehicles as well, but it's kind of cool being up on the, on the, on the upper deck like this. Yeah. It's awesome. And I love the you know, the sights and sounds and the ambiance, the horn and the, the bell. This is the way to do it. I'm so glad we did this. This is like the fun. Oh, dude. You're cold. Yeah, partner statue Walt, much more visible than him hidden in the shrubs <laughs> over at Epcot. I think I, I think I, I think I like the partner statue a little more. Even though Walt the Dreamer's good too, but take a look at that. That is a thing of beauty. Are you ready to arrive at our destination? Please wait until I drop the rope. Please watch your head and stepping into railing as you Nice little view of the castle here. Now gonna head over to Haunted Mansion. All right, heading over, getting a view of Memento Mori. Looks like it's a 35 minute wait. Don't mind waiting. We could probably purchase a lightning lane, but then we would bypass the queue. So gonna get the full experience. So we're gonna go ahead and get in line. You wanna go ahead and get in line? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. 35 is not too bad. We going the right? Yeah, we're going the right way. 35 minutes. I've never noticed this little sh shed right here. Finally, Hat Box appears at Mansion West. No, Mansion East. I, 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 sometimes I forget what coast I'm on. Mansion East. Oh. Get a little ambiance by the river, by the, by the river boat. Oh, bye. Not the Mark Twain. It's not the Mark Twain here. It's the Liberty Bell. It's the old Mark Twain. I keep wanting to say Mark Twain, but it's not. It's the, it's the Liberty Bell here. Oh, it almost looks like that might be the first cruise around rivers. There's no one on there. That's a ghost boat. It's a ghost boat. There's no one on it. No one. Not a soul. Not a one. I never noticed this fountain that kind of fell. It's almost like the theming of an old fountain that has like fallen over. And then also up on the hill is Jay Thaddeus Toad. There is no. No Br'er Rabbit up there though. Jay Thaddeus. At least Mr. Toad is up there on the side of the berm. But Micah was just informing that this hearse right here, horse-drawn carriage, was using a John Wayne movie. He did a whole video on it. So who knew that maybe John Wayne's ghost is floating around here? So this was this is a screen news prop from a John Wayne film. Pretty cool. What movie was it? I'm trying to find, man. Trying to find it. Look it up. Yep. Sorry. I never knew that though. Or if I did, I forgot. So it seems as if the film also starred Dean Martin. It was Tom Elder and John Elder was played by John Wayne, the sons of Katie Elder. That hearse could be seen at. I gotta watch that movie now. 
That's right, Pilgrim. I do a really horrible John Wayne. Keep your nose clean, little lady. Oh, that's good. That's Ernest. Was that, doing. Dean, was, that Dean, was that Dean Martin? <laughs> Keep your nose clean, little lady. Yeah, there it is, right there. Take a look at that. Learning things in line. Should be a new series. Learning things in line. Learning things in line. All right, I just realized something. Mike has shared with me he has not been on Tron yet, so we. We have decided to purchase lightning links for Tron. We're gonna go on Tron. Now I do I do have to say that Tron is probably a little better at night. But we're not gonna stick around till the close. So we're gonna do a day ride, but I'm gonna also ask for the front because the front on Tron is awesome. Things you do in line. You learn things in line and you book lightning lanes in line. Didn't book a lightning lane for the park. I booked an individual lightning lane for Tron. They got our money. <laughs> they got our money anyway. Yeah, it's been a while since I walked through this little area over here. There's Cousin Maud on the end, Uncle Jacob in the middle, Aunt Florence right over here. And then, what is that, Birdie? Yeah, Birdie is right here with the snake around his neck. Now there's also another character that materialized in here, another a ghostly, well, it's not really ghostly, a ghostly-esque candle called the Candleman. So would that be, there's room for a thousand and seventeen? But it's a little nod to the Museum of the Weird. Brother Dave, he chased a bear into a cave. Good friend Gordon, now you've crossed the River Jordan. Right there. Yeah, I want to talk a little bit about the Candleman also. Oh, look at this, there's Ra Thurl Ravencroft's name. Right here. Yep. Voice of Tony the Tiger, but also yeah. is one of the busts in the with the singing bust in the in the cemetery scene. He's also the ghost host. And also saying, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. Grinch. Yeah, so there's two items that are new in here. There's the candleman, and then also the more prominent that everyone's excited about, including myself. Hat box goes, but cannot forget about the candleman. A Roly Crump Museum of the Weird edition which I was looking online, is also at Disneyland and also placed here at WDW. It is going to be next to the suit of armor on a table in the attic scene. So that is what the candle man looks like right there. You can see he's like dripping wax though. The candle man is like oozing. But he's also, he also is like kind of lit up with the hands and on his face. If you notice, Master Gracie here has a flower on top of his headstone right there. Yeah, I'm looking over there and that fish over there, almost like a, like a, a mer person, kind of has the face of a gremlin. Sounds like a gremlin face of sort. Kind of reminds me of a gremlin face. Let's see who's written over here. Oh, Mr. Freese. Oh, look at that. Your voice will carry on the, br on the breeze. That's pretty good. Farewell forever, Mr. Freeze. And then Brother Roly, Roly Crump right there. His soul above, one supposes. Here he poses. And then of course, Blaine Gibson here. And then Ken, drink a toast to our friend Ken. Who's Ken supposed to be? You know who Ken is? Mm -mm. So I know Ken, and then of course, the so, voice of Mansion. Paul Freeze, yeah. Roly Crump. You're not sure about Ken. And then Blaine Gibson. Rolly Cross and Blaine yeah. Gibson, yeah. Who's Ken? <laughs> Fill your glass and don't say when. Yeah, over here also is supposedly the bride's ring is right down there. Interesting backstory on that. Yeah, that supposedly was the bride's ring. Now it's like enclaved in concrete. Secrets. Here rests Waffle Bender. And over here, that clogged coast. Good old Fred, a great big rock fell on his head 
Well, there's Martin, a man named Martin. Never noticed this. Beauregard. Wonder if it's any relation to the bear in Gatlinburg. Yeah, all those way up on the side of the hill there. Can't even see what that one says. Doesn't say anything. Cousin Hute. There's sweet Leota, Madam Leota. Is she gonna blink at us? Mr. Sewell over there. You gonna blink your eyes, Leota? There are a lot of people in here. I wonder if they're just people going to see the mansion or they're here to see Hattie or maybe, I think everyone probably is in here to see the Candleman. This is a Candleman crowd. You can barely see him, but look at him. He's got a, he's got a weapon. I also got to wonder if this fisherman guy is the one out in the graveyard outside, probably. And now a carriage. Two of us. Thank you. A carriage approaches. A doom buggy. But the ride has stopped. Old Hattie's up to a little mischief. I can hear him laughing. Oh, there he is. That's awesome. There's Hattie. Wow. Right here in the hallway. Good to have you here on the East Coast, Hat Box. <laughs> He's arrived. He's materialized. All right, exit it out in spiritual repose. You got manifestation right here. Ouija board. <laughs> Paul Turk. Paul Turgist. Paul Turgeist. Paul Turk. Oh. oh, apparition. Okay, apparition. I didn't get the poltergeist. That's pretty cool. Meta metaphysics. metaphysics. So you saw the candle man. I did. So you have to be sitting on yep. the left hand side of the doom buggy. When you come, you go straight ahead. There's yeah. like a knight in shining armor and it's on a table. But as soon as like your camera gets focused on it, yeah. it pulls a hard right. Yeah, so they don't want you to see the, it. they don't want I have to, I have to show it. You have to check out Micah's video, World yeah. of Micah, and see the candle man. I'll show it in there. I'll show it in mine too, but you could still go. There he is right there. Yeah, he's like teeny and tiny and hidden on that table. Wonder if they wonder if they wonder if Memento Mori sells these. That would be like a, be a good deep cut. Someone's gotta make these. Make it like a Motorama, the wax. That'd be cool. Yeah. There it is. You wanna see the it moving. Mike has got the footage. That's just a still. It almost looks like he's giving us the finger. It's like, no, don't film me! I don't think he had a voice. I always like when you exit the mansion, you get soothing sounds of chirping birds that are right over here next to that. So I have to I have to say I might be the odd man out on this. I also just almost tumbled back. I thought the wall was like a little closer than it was when I'm leaning against it. But I actually really like the location of where Hatbox Ghost is in comparison to the one at Disneyland. I know it kind of goes against continuity of the whole storyline where you're supposed to wait till the Madame Leota scene before every all the ghosts materialize. But as just like a kind of a casual ride through, I kind of like where it is. You get to see him for a little bit longer, and he you can you can turn that corner and the reveal is a little bit better other than Disneyland you come out of the attic and it's just like right there in your face so I kind of I kind of like what do you think about the, the location oh, man. did you hate the location or love the location I thought it was awesome because you come around the bend there with the, the eyes and like you know that it doesn't take away from the hallway in fact I think it's almost like he's luring in you like he's luring you into that endless hallway right now I have it's not cool. I have not seen the film yet need to watch it the new one I liked it Jamie Lee Curtis yeah and Owen Wilson and all that Dang. Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. But isn't it in the movie? Isn't it make more sense now that that movie is? Yes. Out? Okay. <laughs> yes. Nodding yes. Yes. <laughs> All right. But I don't. I don't hate the location. No. I like the location. Even the stretching hall room has the lighting now. Imagineering is like gave it the vibe of the film, which I like. So I don't know. It's cool. Now I just gotta find some uh, some Candleman merch. Yeah, dude. Haunted Mansion is only getting better. I don't know. Like. Give us more. I love it. It's getting it's getting better and better. It's awesome. I wish Br'er Rabbit would materialize on this berm. Yeah, maybe he will. I don't think that's ever gonna happen. Probably not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> maybe in uh maybe in 50 plus years we'll get a we'll get a a Br'er <laughs> thing. How long has it been since since uh, Hattie finally appeared here? See the park opened in 71, so that'd be 52, 52. 52 years. Yeah. Yeah. In 52 years, I'm gonna see. Uh, 
So Let's see a brayer up here. They put chicken pin up there. Yeah, just like a little tiny chicken pin hill. We should we should deem this chicken pin hill. This is chicken pin hill. You can see Rapunzel's castle or uh, tower yeah, right, right there too. Right. Uh, check out the saying here on Little Maisie. So if you zoom in. Little Maisie, so prim and proper. What's it say? So prim and all, little Daisy, so prim and proper, and never lazy. All you do now is, is push up Daisy's and beloved Waddle, beloved Waddle, little Waddle saw the truck, but little Waddle did it duck. Sad trombone for little Waddle. I gotta read Eric's here, the snake. I like the monkey, the 1871 monkey, which is a hundred years prior to this attraction opening. Sure is. All right, we did it. And now we're gonna go get on Tron. Try to get front front seat on Tron. Yeah, take a look at this. It says there's room for one more. It no longer says a thousand. It says it on the ride, but no longer on the merchandise. This is pretty good. This is like the hallway, the hallway uh, logos here. I mean, it's not the color purple, but it's like this here is the has it. But yeah. That's very dapper, right? That would work today because it's kind of cool today. You get the veil. The veil. Any Candleman merch? Here's the candle, but it's not in the shape of a man. It's just the shape of a candle. From the, uh, the film, Jared Leto. That's version. Leto? Yeah. Really? That's his version. Of Jared Leto film. plays Hatbox. He sure does. Interesting. I liked him in uh, American Psycho. All right, I'm gonna buy a pen. I gotta buy this. I gotta buy this Hatbox pen. This would be like document the occasion here. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah. There's old Hattie. See, he doesn't look evil there. He looks friendly. Mm -hmm. He's a friendly ghost. He's not Casper, but he's like a he's he's a friendly ghost. Yeah, for like him and for him and Casper in this pin format could be buddies. Now gonna make our way over to Tron Light Cycle Run. We're gonna walk through these bubbles through Fantasyland and make our way over to tomorrow. Our photos have ma also materialized. We look very frightened. There's two photos there, same photo, just two different images. Very, very nice. It's Tron time. It's Tron time. You excited about this, Micah? Oh yeah. Have you seen any spoilers? You've been on, you seen any ride-throughs or anything? Watch a ride through. The only thing I've seen is the gift shop here. That's it. Big yeah. Totally different than the gift shop. I'm excited. You're gonna launch off. You rode Guardians. I did. Now a lot of people are team Guardians. But I think Tron is a totally different attraction. I think you're gonna like it. I'm excited. I think I've been on Tron maybe six times. I've been on Guardians about 30. I need to do Tron more. Oh, yes. Gonna be up. Oh, it's time. All right, we did it. Tron accomplished. Ah, the crisscrossing of the people mover. What'd you think? Did you like it? Totally worth it. That like was it? amazing. Worth the $20 oh, lightning yeah. lane? Oh yeah, I rode it Superman style. Yeah. Hopefully, the hopefully the photo showed up. I hope it up. does, because that was, man, that was awesome. You did it Superman. We went, we went in the front row with our arms up. Yep. Very good. Now you just gotta come back and ride it at night. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, it's great during the day, but, but it's even better at night. I'm sure it's older than ball game. It's just darker. <laughs> All right, gotta go go grab a bite to eat over at Columbia Harbor House, cutting through Fantasyland, and gonna go over to Harbor House. There's some bubbles going by. Oh, it looks like Big Thunder's up and running again over there. I can see they're kind of testing out. Big Thunder was down, but this is such a good view looking out the window here. And we ended up getting a couple of fruit waters and some food for Micah and I. One of my new go-tos is this glazed holiday beret. It's like a glazed uh, salmon with the green beans and the rice. I also got a side of hush puppies. Micah ended up getting some, what'd you got? It's the trio. It's got chicken, shrimp, and fish. All right. Just got word that Big Thunder Mountain Railroad is now officially reopened. So we're going to walk over there and see what's happening over there. Kind of have kind of a short day. We saw Hatbox and we ended up getting a bite to eat, Rotron. And we're going to probably call it a day pretty soon, but you never know. If the wine's short enough, maybe we'll jump on Big Thunder. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I need to decide which of these is my favorite restaurants. Harbor House. Or Pecos Bills. I think I like them equally in different ways. They yeah, both have different charms. Because in all honesty, at Magic Kingdom, it's kind of hard to find good quick service food. So it's like, these are the two good spots. I 
decided not to go on Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, but instead started, started to head out. We're gonna be going through Adventureland, kind of looking over, before we're heading over through Adventureland, however, it's kind of zoomed in on Tiana's Bayou Adventure, the former Splash Mountain. And you can see they really have done a lot of work. They have the scaffolding up, they put up some new trees up. It's just a lot of bubbles. I mean, it's kind of hard to see them. Some bubbles just went by as well. <laughs> so continuing to walk this direction, they're gonna end up heading out, heading out of the park. Oh, and take a look, these spitting tiki's are not spitting today. They're just tiki's. They are not spitting and not misting. I guess maybe because of the weather, perhaps. I'm not really sure why, but it's actually starting to warm up. But yeah, no mist. You see it? A little space mountain model, model kit. kit. Nice. Yeah, 30 bucks. Not too bad. No, and you can get I like all this little castle parking castle lot too. tram, the castle. Very nice. You got the carousel up here with Chip and Dale. Oh, check it out. There's the mansion. Oh, dude. The haunted mansion. These are the new model kits I think you put around your monorail. I think you're probably right. He was really excited. <laughs> carousel is cool. Dude, I got this from Oh, I love all the here. Disney buses. Cruise line. Oh, here's like a whole rack of space mountains. I never noticed this photo of this woman with a golf club there. And then there's golf balls up there. These are great. Look at this. Little parachute skydiver here. Buzz Lightyear. Oh, sweet. That's cool, right? Yeah. There's Woody. Now we saw it on the way in. Looking at it on the way out, the poster here. No hat box on this. He's only seen when you ride the attraction up in here, up through the, the area. Where would, I wonder if Hattie would be in correlation to the artistic rendering of this version. I'm not really sure. He was dying to meet me, and I met him. The horrifying sights and sounds in Liberty Square of Hattie. I also really like these two posters, the Walt Disney World Railroad and the Monorail. This one is awesome. Look at this. I freaking need this poster right here. Right? Look at this. Oh, and what better way to end this than with the monorail departing. Now, this is the resort monorail. We took the express monorail, but nonetheless, it's still a monorail. All right, that's going to do it for today. Oh, I got to check and see if the Tron photos came through. If they did, they will be bonus footage. If not, there will not be any bonus footage. <laughs> Stay tuned. Adam the Woo. Hey, how you doing, man? Well, that's going to do it for today. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Bonus footage. No, not the Tron photo. But look at this. Dublin down on transportation vehicles on the exit out. It's a race. We just shaving a haircut here. We get a shave and a haircut, monorail and tram, shave and a haircut, shave and a haircut, and no shave and a haircut. But still, oh, and the bus went by. Tron photo didn't show up. Dang it. No Tron photo, man. No, but we got the trifecta once again. We have it in our, we have it in our mind. We do.